mailbox of two seven six two nine three three five seven. Hi, Enoch. Um, it's John Wanoa here. I'm just checking out my eye for next Friday. Uh, we shouldn't need, need it any more than two hours uh, from 10 o'clock. Okay, I'll get there a bit earlier in the morning. Uh, so I think there's a few people coming down from the north. Okay? Alright, bye. There's no overnight stay, just just a hearing of that's all. Bye. John, why not? Um, I better write this number down. So, I'm just on the video at the moment. Just organising the meeting for next week. Friday. That's the same day, by coincidence, as Ratna Church. T.W. Ratna Church. Um, birthday in Wanganui. Um, so, it looks like this. I'm just doing a bit of work on the computer to put the notice out um, for the meeting and the names of people, I, I will say it later on. I will, I will call the names out later on. And um, those people that are expected to appear in the hearing. This, this is a native Marae magistrate court hearing. Now what happened here is this, just to put you in a picture, is that my court hearing for Cook Street, 77 Cook Street, goes back a long way to 2008 and 2009. I um, engaged with, hang on, I'll just, I'll get this sorted, oh my, Facebook page, I, had, I engaged with um, uh, Jamie Peters, the then um, owner of Cook Street, now he was in, oh I can't, he was in mortgage debt with the Westpac Bank and I, he gave me his, well, I, I said I'm in real estate and um, he gave me his uh, certificate of titles to search it out to see where the problem, I might be able to fix it. I said to him, I can. Uh, so from that day on I investigated all his title and found there was something wrong with the land itself, the original titles of Manuka because at that time Mohi Manuka uh, was with me to investigate titles in the Kaipara on a 10 acre block in Helensville, Rada Street and where the original native court was of John Rogan in the Referef Manukau where that court hearing was held in Awaroa Native Magistrate Court or Bank as it was there. The Bank was the Magistrate Court and the Magistrate was the Crown British Agent. So anyway, uh, from that we got to the Methodist Church on Queen Street, Altair Centre, just opposite that church, he wanted that land back, the whole of Queen Street back, because he had a bit of problem with his daughter Rita selling their um, wares down Queen Street and they were told by the council to get off the land. And well, he said, well no, it's his land, he can sell these things. And the excuse the council had said, a complaint was made by Chinese shop owners that he was selling stuff and they were losing business. So they got rid of Mohi and that was the end of that. And I fought for that, for him, and for Cook Street was another one, uh, with his title on it. And so that's where we are today, from those um, complaints from him, uh, because I'm in land 
titles anyway as a native land commissioner and there's no one that can do that job of investigating native titles with a original surname. So I'm there as his executive and executor of his contract, his private contract with Te Rewakato Whare Hirehere Manukau and his contract with King George IV and the contract with Re Whare for Manukau and William, King William IV and original to that the eight point star that's on the flag of King William III, the creator of the, creator of the Bank of England Act 1694 and the Pound Note Act 1694 and also the St. Patrick's Municipality's eight point star St. Patrick's Church uh, to pick up the rent lease on lease lands. These are lease lands. I'm taking up the lease lands as executor of that trust and contract, private contract of Admiralty Martial Law in the Magistrate Court. So we're operating at the moment from Te Unga Waka Marae Native Magistrate Court in 1 Epsom, 1 Clyde Street and the corner of 1 Clyde Street and Manukau Road, Epsom. Now from that court hearing I'm pulling the landowners of Cook Street as one of the complaints against the owners. In the first place, the first owners, Jamie Peters, and against Doug Ricard Bell, the second owner, and now the third owners of a bad title, James Pierce Brown and son Brent Roundtree. And add to that the police, CIB, Aaron Pesco. Tim Duffy and Natalie Flower Dew Brown tampered with the contract I made between myself, Jamie Peters, Doug Ricard Bell, the second landowner, and now Jamie James Pierce Brown and Sam Brent Roundtree, the third owners in this bad title that has no Monaco name on their register. It has been obliterated from the records here through the New South Wales Government, Crown and New Zealand Crown and their company, Manukau Waitamata Company and New Zealand Company against the Manukau Company that was between King George IV and Te Rā Waikato Whare Hirehere Manukau, Paramount Chief of Cambridge, down in Karapiro and Kiki and Arapuni district of Cambridge. That's at Pohara Marae. That's the jurisdiction I'm taking into that Marae as a Pohara Marae Native Magistrate Court. That's my father in law, Peter Mihinui, and my kids are from there. Okay? Um, Carol Mihinui and my girl and boy that are linked to that Marae and that family, the Toti family and the Winnikeri family, uh, as my friends on the Marae and at work in New Zealand Forest Products, Tokoroa, in the year 72, 1972 <coughs> to 1980, that period of time. Uh, in my uh, stay living at Pohara Marae, um, uh, Kainga or Papa Kainga. Okay. The house of is still there. I can fix it, that's fine, it's a house, and go there. Oh, in fact, I just might do that. And I'm going back there to link up that to the Manukau um, Trust, the Moriori Manukau Trust. I've set that up with Mohi Manukau as executor. I'm the executor, bank creditor of all the fortunes of Te Rewakato Whareherehere Manukau, 1823, his contract with King George IV.
So that's my title as executor of that account, trust, in the name Refa Refa Manikau in capitals and the name Wānoa in capitals. I'm just going to show you in a minute what the police did to me when they arrested me for going to take the land that I'm a commercial landowner of. And that's my Exhibit A of the packet that came back with my shirt in it, with the king on it. I better show you this shirt. This is the shirt that was stolen by the police. Here. That's, oh, that's, that's, uh, that's the second one. That's, that's. I had to get a second shirt. I had to get a second shirt to replace the first shirt. This one was held right up till just before Christmas. It came back in the packet. It came back in the packet. Got it somewhere. I've got the packet somewhere, but anyway, the photos on there I'll show you afterwards. And this was in it. It came back with King William's photo. Right there. I'm the surrogate of this King William IV. And the eight point star of St. Patrick order. Right? King William Seal, the house, the horse on dry land, and the ship in the sea of Admiralty, and his crown, and the St. Patrick's eight point star municipalities that King William III put together, that and the Bank of England Act and the Pound Note Act. But I'm using these instruments with King William IV and this flag with eight point stars north, east, south, west of the world. I'm using him on this shirt as my uniform to arrest anybody as third party to this king and to me and the Paramount Chiefs. And there's the coat of arms here and the other coat of arms here from Hanover and the eight four kings on this side. Okay. Four out of the eight kings, yeah. But it's Empire. This is an Empire shirt that was stolen by the Crown Corporations here in New Zealand. And I'm just going to this all set up. I've got it in the printer. I put it in the printer so that you can see it. Here's, here's the packet, right? This is exhibit A. Here, with the name Wano in capitals. You see? The name Wano in capitals is the same as the Referefa Manikau name in capitals, which means a commercial landowner trust. Okay. And this shirt came back from the police station. It, I was arrested here and they stripped, Natalie Flower Dean Brown stripped me off this, I had no sinker, stripped me off here and put me in cuffs and took me away, out of here, illegally. She lost the case against me and this is treason. Took it out of there, took, took this off and took it away. It was captured. They captured the king, shirt, okay, this is this hang, hang, for doing that to a king, okay, I'm here for the king, there's nobody else who can do this job, so, 
That's the offence against her, personally, coming in here as a detective. It's supposed to be a constable's job to arrest people. She got that wrong again. You see, this country plays around with words, then gets it wrong. That's cost you a trillion pounds on your head and a trillion pounds for every day I'm sitting here and not on Cook Street. I'm going to be on Cook Street soon. You're getting the bill. It's added up to a few trillion now. It doesn't matter because that goes against the 970 million trillion trillion pound note that I'm apostolizing. Right, I'm doing that today. I'm apostolizing the trillion pound note on your head in this folder. I'm going to punch the holes and put it in. Right, that's on your head, Natalie Flower D. Brown, Tim Duffy, and Aaron Pascoe. That's on your head, each and every one of you. This pound note is on anybody's head that I name. On, it's just the birth certificate. This is what I'm putting the value on the birth certificate of my name. Here, why not? Your name's in capitals. It's worth one trillion pounds. On this video, I'm citing it. In the Maui Crown Federal State Government of the world and their flag. It's legal now. I'm just getting it apostolized and it's more than legal. It's legitimate straight into Britain in Westminster, the new Westminster Parliament and their flag. Okay? So all these notes are legal tender. There's the other big one. I'm going to mess that up now. So I'm going to bound these up. And form these little books spread out. Okay, they're all singled out in offences against singly persons. Singly. Okay, one by one. I'll take you out one by one. And so I'll just put this in. Yeah, I get my computer. I want you to put this in. I've got to restart my computer all the time. It's a nuisance. But it's because the system over here catches anything trying to zap me out and stops my computer. Um, I, I don't mind because that way I can I can go back and reset everything and get used to it because I have three computers going at the same time. Okay, so now we get back to this Cook Street, 77 Cook Street, and this court hearing is against, I might as well say it, I, I might as well go straight on to it and say it. The hearing is at, I'll turn it on here. I'll turn, I'll turn it on here. There, there it is. I just put this on a little earlier. Hearing is at 10 a.m. Friday, 26th of January 2018 at Te Unga Waka Marae, Native Magistrate Court, corner of 1 Clyde Street and Manukau Road, Epsom. So I've got this. There's that, there's that packet I've just showed you with, with this number here and my name in capitals. Exhibit reference number. Wānoa. You see? You see how loose they are with fraudulent writings. Subject's name, O1, is the subject's name is O1, but the name Wānoa is a trust. Anything with capitals is a trust and money. It's a court bank money that they are drawing off to pay themselves and to steal out of that Wānoa trust account that I cited my barrister and the court to get it back. I wanted it back and they failed to do that. They just dismissed my case and dropped the whole thing without me going to court. You see, so those are my facts, cited evidence there of this packet here, this here. I've photographed it to show you as witnesses and I'm my own competent witness to know what I'm doing. Picture 
two. Where's picture one? I'll go to start again. Picture count one. Refere for Manukau is the commercial landowner of Pukikohi. I better do this. Pukikohi, Franklin District boundary area of the Homestead Act 1862 and New Zealand Native Act 1862 Sale and Purchase Agreement of land between Paramount Chief Refere for Manukau, British commercial landowner, Lisi, and Crown land agent John Rogan Lee Saw set a blueprint president Crown Land Act 1862 case for all native land leases sold and bought by the British Empire under its creators of commercial trading bank loans, mortgages, liens, security interests over the land leased to King William III Crown Land Patent Act 1694 and Bank of England Act 1694, Pound Note Act 1694, Minerals Act 1694, and St. Patrick's Eight Point Star Municipalities Act 1694 to collect leased land rent, taxes, fees, administrative costs, and security, military protection. Conquered lands leased bought by King George IV, Admiralty Magistrate Private Contract under the British Empire's Homestead Act 1823 and Te Rewaikato Wharehere Manukau, sale and purchase of New Zealand Pacific Islands native lease lands, then transferred to his successor brother King William IV, who then continued the Crown Land Act 1823 to 1834 flag of New Zealand and its successor Paramount Chief Refere for Manukau as a sale and purchase of Uatawa, Pukekohe, Franklin, Franklin District Area, Crown Land Act 1834, leased lands to the private contract of King William IV and Refere for Manukau through the Crown Agent John Rogan in Awaroa Native Magistrate Court on the Manukau 10 acre block, land block in Helensville Kaipara Harbour. I, Hoani Kahaki Wānoa, John Wānoa, is the successor to Refere for Manukau and Te Rewaikato Wharehere Manukau, private contract, surrogate king with these three kings' wealth inheritance trust accounts as the native magistrate, registrar, Maui Crown Bank, house, powerhouse bank, bank creditor, assignee, executor, paramount chiefs, king's surrogate CEO, director of Maui Powerhouse Group, limited, limited creditor in London, UK, and CEO Director, CEO Director of Ngātui Wā Aotea, Limited Creditor of in Auckland, New Zealand. There's a few mistakes there. Picture 2, Auckland CIB Police Detective Natalie Flowerdew Brown returned my surrogate King William IV shirt, I've just showed you, with the photo engraved in it, on it, to his coat of arms and British Emperor's 1823 and 1834 flags as Exhibit A against the New Zealand police, she liabled one trillion great British pound each and every day that I am not on Cook Street, some Cook Street property seizure warrant of execution, control and possession. She and CIB police tampered with my private contract with the owners of 77 Cook Street property James Pierce Brown and Simon Brent Roundtree. Roundtree, judgment debtors guilty, charged in our King William Four Flag Sovereign Authority jurisdiction, to Unga Waka Marae Magistrate Court in Epsom, Auckland, on 11th of November, 2017-1862. That's the commemoration day of Referef Manukau and Rogan sale and purchase agreement. Private contract, nobody's business to inquire into. The CIB Auckland Police unlawfully arrested me and locked me up a surrogate king means treason against our financial investment banking interests over our ancestors' lease lands cause for termination of the New South Wales New Zealand Crown Corporation's contract settlement account call up amount of 970 million trillion trillion pound note great British pound note in gold bullion and gold bullion coins minerals land property business certificate, bonds, um, shares, assets. I don't know why this thing is going crooked over here. This Facebook is doing something naughty. It's it's block, blocking things out. Control, um, I'm down here somewhere. Pound note. 
um, contract settlement accounts call up the amount of 970 million trillion trillion pound note, Great British note, in assets of value possessions against whom I name as pirates of the high seas, criminal thugs. I name here for the defence in this court in Ipsum on Friday 26th of January 2018 at 10am corner of 1 Clyde Street and Manukau Road, Ipsum, Auckland, New Zealand. If they fail to turn up, they, the named criminals are in a King's default contract. Uh, YouTube facts cited evidence video and unrefuted statements will appear here tomorrow, that's today, and evidence of corruption discovered as you got to see it first before I get the documents apostolized for the British Foreign Oh, sucks. Um, I've got to change this. And New Zealand Foreign Affairs and New Zealand Internal Affairs Land Ownership Titles to New Zealand Pacific Memorial Discovery Titles. I've got to do a lot of corrections here. And so that's the deed there. Can you see the for for Money Car's name there? Right there. See it in capitals? And that's matching me here as his successor in capitals. Okay, on this packet that the police returned my shirt with this eight-point star on it and King William the Fourth photograph here as I am his surrogate. Okay, I am his surrogate king to speak for him with his flag that he gave us. The four corners of the earth of the eight-point star belongs to us, nobody else. Not John Key who's wearing it, not the Queen who's wearing it, not anybody. They're getting this 970 trillion, 970 million trillion trillion pound note on their head for obstructing us in our contract. Right? They're tampering with our contract. Okay, this I'm talking about the Crown Corporations here in New Zealand under the Queen Elizabeth. And um, here's the other one here. You see this this here is the this is supposed to be in here with King Ernest Augustus. That's our oath of office, King Ernest Augustus, the fifth reigning monarch, Dutchman of these kings here. So I'm gonna uh, get that colour made, and then this is the one with Jamie Patrick, okay, the Patrick of the Eight Point Patrick star here, and myself on this 970 million trillion trillion pound note against all of the debts right back to 1820, when Te Waikato went to England with Kendall. He's on the, he's on the, here, on these documents, um, as our proof, okay? So, you'll see him in the seal, Te Waikato in the seal. I've split him out by himself. So there's the deed there, okay? I've just showed you what that man is, and there's mine there with the Wano, see? So I'm just showing you. The Wānau in capital letters is what the police put here, in picture two, right? And picture one, Rewhere for Manukau, there, in capitals, as equivalent. Um, the successor to that commercial contract, private commercial contract, that I'm picking up on. Not the family. This is nothing to do with the family of the Manukau's, it is a contract of money there. Okay, so this is the debtor instrument, count three, that goes against those police, each of them, each one of them, the whole, Natalie Flower Dew Brown libeled the whole police force, 15,000 of them. So that's 15,000 trillion, one of these each. That's what I say. I can say anything I like against that 970 million trillion trillion pound note. That goes all the way back from 1820 to the present day. Okay, all of that time. Picture count three. New Zealand police CIB used this Crown Bank debt instrument 
drew money cash from my one or trust account, legal birth certificate instrument of value against a corporate crown pirate on the high seas, criminal debtor settled account owed on annex invoice Britain UK one trillion pound note worth my surrogate King William Fourth Crown land patent title Maui Powerhouse Bank instrument assessment. So I've made a value of my birth certificate and every other person's birth certificate in this jurisdiction of King's Bench Court and King's Royal Revenues, okay? So we get to that part. I've got to tidy up all the mistakes I made. So I'll put them together. I'll put them together on one picture here. So you now can see Natalie Flower Dew Brown right there with all the arrows pointing at her. There should be a rope around her neck for doing that to me and not taking me seriously. Okay? And you've got <coughs> um, Tim Duffy right there and Aaron Pascoe in the wanted column right there. I've got their names there, Aaron Pascoe right there. Okay? And Natalie Flower Dew Brown. And I put that citation here, fact cited information as Exhibit A. They put that as an exhibit against me. Now I'm using that same exhibit that she arrested, this woman here arrested me. And now I'm joining me here as a corporate person. Right, I'm taking my trust, which is that name in capitals. Anybody's name in capitals, that's how they make the money out of you. Of 100 million is worth to them, I've got 1 trillion to recover all the debt of what they've made out of this capital name since 68 years now, since I was born. That's a lot of money. That's only me. Then you take the whole world, 5.7 billion people in the world, or 7 billion people in the world, and multiply that by what I'm just telling you, 100 million each. And that's how much money they're getting. That's why I've got it as a trillion. I've got the birth certificate here at one trillion pounds. That's great Britain pounds in our currency. Theirs is devalued now. I'm going back to when it's three to one. That's how they made the money. Now they made sure to devalue it so that it's worth nothing. Now I'm going back three times as much as what a normal is. Okay? That's, I'm going to squash them right out of existence with this information. They're caught now. They're caught in their own game. Right here, deeds, receipts, deed title. This is a deed title of the sale of the land I have received from Mr. Rogan, John Rogan, five pounds. I will repay this deposit to him when we receive the payment for our land, Uatawa. Pukikoi is the name of that land. Manukau Referefa, right there. That's the information, that's the fact cited information I'm going. There's Cook Street and the thugs there, Simon Brent Round Tree. I've got it marked there, you can read it. And uh, James Pierce Brown is that one there. His name is going to his arrow there. And Simon Brent Round Tree is the other one right there, where that little arrow is. Yeah, Simon Brent Round Tree, you can see his name there, right? So those are the culprits. There's the trillion pound note debt against each of them. They're here. That's just the birth certificate. That's not the land. That's just the birth certificate against them. Then the land value on top of that. Okay? So I'm working out all of that against the 970 million trillion trillion. That's why I'm stacking it up. And there's the wanted wanted people in there, John Key and Aaron Pascoe there. The Queen is there as well, but these John Key, um, Dick Ruck, Rickard Bell to the right of that property and Aaron Pascoe stopping me from getting the land back off Doug Rickard Bell. He tampered with my contract and I know all about contracts. I'm my own competent witness. That means I don't need a lawyer. I don't need anyone to tell me what to do. Okay, so picture count number four. Take notice, a court hearing will be held in Te Ungawaka Marae Native Magistrate Court on Friday the 26th of January 2018 at 10am on the corner of 1 Clyde Street and Manukau Road in Netsum, Auckland. Defendants must appear in this public Native Court hearing, named as 
ex-Prime Minister John Key, Chairman of the ANZ and Bank and Director of Air New Zone. He's libelled them, people. Named as James Pierce Brown, Director of 77 Cook Street, Auckland. Named as Simon Brent Roundtree, Director of 77 Cook Street, Auckland. Named as Natalie Flowerdew Brown, CIB Police Detective, Auckland. Named as Aaron Pascoe, CIB Police Detective, Auckland. Named as Tim Duffy, CIB Auckland Detective, Police Detective, Auckland. Named as John Bailey, Director of Bailey's Real Estate, Auckland, sold the land. You see, when I said don't do, and I gave them, I gave them strict, I gave them a uh, um, writ warrant. Named as John Bailey, Director of Bailey's Real Estate, Auckland. Named as David Bailey, Director of Bailey's Real Estate, Auckland. Named as Sean Elias, Chief Justice of New Zealand Supreme Court. Named as Peter Paraoni. Chairman of Waitangi National Trust, named as Pat Patsy Reddy, Governor General of New Zealand, named as Jerry Matapurai Andrews, Ambassador uh, to New Zealand and UK, named as others followed in this list, convicted of grand treason, fraud and direct threat on our New Zealand national security of financial investment interests for their own private bank financial investment interests without proof of claim title from Britain, UK, King's Emperor's Crown Land Patent Title, Proof of Claim over Maui Crown Native Title that I hold over the New South Wales, New Zealand, Iwi Maori Crown Corporation's No True Title. Ignorant, crook could, ignorant crooked pirates on the high seas police corrupted their own New Zealand court's justice system and broke our King's Bench Native Magistrate Court laws. They cannot defend against me after losing my case on 77 Cook Street property shall pay the fine, pay the crime they caused me injury, shall do prison time, not going to get away with it, with the crimes, and make a lot of money out of the fraud that they perpetuate within the government policies that benefits their corporate thug businesses. So now it's my Crown Federal State Flag Sovereign Authority to start rounding them up with the King's Moai Pound Note, Judgment Debtors Note, in Tohunga Waka Marae, Native Magistrate Court of Admiralty Paramount Chiefs Sheriff's Sovereign Ruling Authority Jurisdiction, as British Emperor Surrogate King William III, King William IV, King George IV, Crown Land Patent, Crown Land Act 1823, 4GO 4C180, and King George IV private contract with Paramount Chiefs Tera Waikato Wharehere Manukau and his descendant Blefrefe Manukau, commercial landowners of New Zealand, Pacific Islands, with me, Hawani Kahaki Wano John, as Wanoa in capitals, commercial landowner, success to succeed to Blefrefe Manukau, commercial landowner, 1830, to 11th of November 1862, New Zealand Native Lands Act, and 1834 Declaration of War Martial Law State of Emergency flag. King William IV gave these paramount chiefs and me, I speak for myself as John Wanoa in capitals, as my own competing witness, knowing more than lawyers and judges in these courts of New Zealand about Moai Crown Natives paramount chiefs, whakapapa, that I am the executor of all that private commercial legal contract between these six kings, private partnership of three Moriori Taizu natives and three British king emperors inheritance of these lands are legally owned as a commercial landowner landlord. You whom I name as accused must appear in the Te Waka Native Magistrate Court on the corner of one Clyde Street and Manukau Road, Epsom, on 26 Friday, 26th of January 2018, at 10 a.m. to 12 noon, to defend your name and surname as James Pierce Brown, occupier, proprietor of 77 Cook Street, Auckland, Simon Brent Roundtree, occupier, prior, proprietor of 77 Cook Street, Auckland. If you fail to show, then I, as the Maui Crown Federal State Flag creditor, 
has the right to seize 77 Cook Street property and all your assets, bank accounts, investments and business businesses off you against the power note debtor instrument collectively, severally judgment debtor against the 970 million trillion trillion pound note and a bounty of 1 trillion pound note on your heads for every day that I am not on that land block. You and all your corporate crown authorities under the Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth II, Crown, Rothschild Bank and Commonwealth countries, Church and State, UN, EU, NATO, IMF, World Bank, US Federal State Government, United States of America, Washington DC, Clinton Foundation, Bitcoin, Bank of In England, City of London, Vatican City, Israel, Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth II, Queen Victoria Trust, Westminster Parliament, Buckingham Palace, Crown Jewels, US Treasury, NZ Invest Limited, Insurance New Zealand Limited, New Zealand Cabinet, Inland Revenue IRD, Wins, Crown, Iwi Maori Trusts, Maori Land Court, Waitangi National Trust, HM Treasury, UK, Private Companies, Shares the 970 million trillion trillion judgment debtors bill. The bank creditor is Na Atue Wa Aotea Limited in New Zealand, Maui Powerhouse Group Limited Limited London, UK, Maui Crown, Maui Mount Moriori Trust, Maui King William IV Trust. John Key, ex Prime Minister, New Zealand National Party and Director of News in New Zealand and Chairman of NZ Bank and New Zealand and Queen's representative to a fraud crown corporation monarch that has no see, seal of Queen in New Zealand Parliament and no seal of Westminster Parliament, Britain, UK, while the Queen is a threat to the British having abandoned King William IV ship of Admiralty and gone into the EU Parliament as a conflict of interest to the British people and Maui Crown Pacific Island people she abandoned to her patented Iwi Maori Crown, pirate tribe of no true native land title whakapapa cannot refute the Maui Crown King William IV Trust facts cited evidence, YouTube video statement of claim that proof of title that I'm doing now to New Zealand country. My Crown Court defaulted John Key and the land occupiers of 77 Cook Street bad title that New Zealand Police CIB tampered with my private contract with Simon Brent Rowntree and James Pierce Brown and 43 people in total named in my case against me lost the case as insufficient evidence to convict me of any crimes was an act of treason against them and the face that John Key has libelled the fact that John Key has libelled Air New Zealand and ANZ Bank, the New Zealand Parliament, the United States of America, the World Bank, Rothschild Bank of England, Church and State, Waitangi National Trust, Ratana Church, TPPA, countries doing business with the Queen's royal style head fake coronation seal, the Government of Australia and the fact that all the banks in the world of corporate fraud under the New York Stock Exchange and the Fiat Money US Dollar Pyramid Fraud Organization that John Key is a director of has a bounty on his head for treason against the Maui Crown and our partner the Three Dutch Kings British Empire. There are other corporate thugs on the list including ANZ Bank and Air New Zealand and the New Zealand Parliament natural man Women politicians have a bounty on their heads, including all those CEO in the 1840 Treaty of Waitangi, Iwi Maori Treaty claims as fraudulent whakapapa and Maori land titles transfer forged British titles. A writ warrant is already forced on 77 Cook Street property will be seized after a no-show court hearing in Tewungawaka Marae Native Court in Epsom on Friday 26 January 2018. There, Dali Gardner says, good luck, John Wanoa. That's from Britain. UK, Francis Lewis, yes, good luck and go well. Awesome battle you face as those you name are deadly fraudsters and thieves. So I have a following of people behind me. I got this, I'll, I'll read this one as well, because this is the charter I was in before. The government of Aotearoa, property of the Māori Ariki, 
sovereign of the General Assembly of Aotearoa. I just want to say to you here that the Maori government has already the government in Wellington. It's already the Maori, they, they created the Maori word and the iwi word as patented in their Crown Corporation's business, New South Wales and New Zealand judgment debtors against us judgment creditors, Maui Crown King William for trust account creditors. Okay? So this is what I wrote for that, to write them off. Anything with Maori on it is now liable with this 970 million trillion trillion download right there. In fact this one here with I'm gonna make a new one green for Irish and King William and King Ernest Augustus, the reigning monarch of today, and Princess Caroline of Monaco, and that's our gold um, uh, Moai crown gold dragon. Okay, and I'm just going to take King Arthur and put King George the Fourth there, and King William the Third there over there in that place. Uh, okay, so I'll read this before the film runs out. I got this whole book, but it's useless title under Maori, title belongs to the wicked Iwi Maori Crown corporate thugs. Patent names of Iwi and Maori is myth tribe of no substance fact cited evidence against Maui Crown Te Rewaikato Whare Herehere Manukau of Maungatauteri Mountain Pass site in Cambridge District's Waikato region and his Pohara Marae Chief's private contract with King George IV Crown Land Patent Two Party King equals Paramount Chief Landlord Partnership Contract Succeeded by Hwani Kahaki Wano, John, that's me, Executor, that's me, Assignee, that's me, Commercial Landowner, with that name Wano, right here, that you, I showed you, right there, that's the police that put my name there, that dragged the money out of my account, my trust account, I told him, my, my barrister, Shannon Withers, I want that trust account back. He went on the side of the, the court and ignored me. He didn't go there to represent me because he was my barrister in prison and he helped those useless Maori um, um, UN federal marshals out of prison and left me out of going to court. Succeeded by me, right we've gone through that, um, uh, John Executor Assignee, commercial landowner, Wānoa, that's the name I just showed you, Exhibit A. That's my Exhibit A for Te Rewaikato Wharehere de Manika and his descendant, Refere for Manikau, of Manikau Marae at Waiuku South Manikau Harbour and Pūpanga Manikau Marae at Cornwallis North Head of Manikau Harbour Entrance, title of Auckland Super City Boundary Area under Maui Crown British Emperor, Three Kings Mana Whenua, Least Kings Crown Land title. Succeeded by Morris Baker Lobo uh, from his native Paramount Chief Hori Tikuri, 11th November 1862, native land act between Rafa of Manukau and John Rogan, British Crown land agent for to Hori Tikuri's son Hedemaya, fixed in Tahiki Marae Native Magistrate Court in Hokianga District's hearings in November 2017 for the British Emperor record in Westminster. So that's what I put there for that book I've got here. I'm not going to give it to anybody because it's not going to work. Okay, anything married will fall apart and go out of business. So here I just got this uh, back again and that I've just repeated it again. And so I'll go on to this now. I'll just explain this picture here uh, as being the receipt. That's the receipt of purchase, sale and purchase agreement, deed with Reef Reef Manukau. That's the whole big area, then bigger, bigger than um, uh, 162 acres. It's it's the um, um, it's the name of the X. It's the name of the X is the Homestead Act 1862. See, everything's around 1862 and 1834 when the Westminster Parliament was burnt down. Right on October 1834, the the year that we got the flag. This flag here is 1834. The 28th of October, 1834, that flag came out. But was before that when we when it was um, the 11th of the 11th of March. Uh, 11th of March, 1834 was when uh, when we got this flag. 
as a declaration of war, that's when it burnt down. This flag was given to us before Westminster Parliament mysteriously got burnt. That, that's been a pattern of the Clintons. Everything just gets burnt. And that's something I just hate, people making things up like that. Miss. And uh, so there's the receipt. I've got to go in to join me in capital letters on this inheritance of everything that's been made on this leased land. These lands are only leased lands to the British King and King George at that time. Now, nobody up north that is claiming King George for what? There's no, they must come. You people up there, Hori, King Hori, Hori, King Hori, you better come to this court hearing because if you don't, I'm, I'm, I know the ones up there who are talking like that, you come, if you don't come with your title, these ones are going to squash you right out. And more of a papa that I've got here in the book, the papa right there, here, will blow you fellas to bits and your titles right out of the word, well, the woods, that title there. Okay? Tahege Marae there, right? This British ship, London, Hokianga, the Russell family, Waitara, Whakapapa, to Kupe, Buhi, and Rahiri. And all these Whakapapas here are correct, true and correct. Right through, all the stories of the gum fields and everything is in here. And the Whakapapas, all the Whakapapas are there, all the way through, okay? So you're not going to crook this one. And the deeds here, the deeds here that crooked all the titles. Te Uriho crooked all the titles for the Queen and forged the Manukau title. They forged all of this Manukau title and I'm having them up. I'm taking them in to Westminster and the Admiralty Court and the Magistrate Court and deal to them with this big pound notes. I'll just make this go right big before the film runs out. But I'm going to make another better one as well, another in-depth one. I've got to start binding the hooks up before next Friday. So here we go. I've got me as a successor to Refere for Manukau and a successor to Refere for Manukau, uh, to Te Rawakato Wharehere for Manukau. Okay, so that's the deed of receipt. And um, I've read all that out, but um, I'll read what it says here. The pirate of my commercial land owner named Wānoa, New Zealand Police CIB, Detective Natalie Flower Dew Brown, facts cited. Evidence here for identity theft of my Wānoa Trust Inheritance Fund. I charged her in Te Ungawaka Marae Native Magistrate Court as judgment debtor, one trillion pound note, for every day she arrested me, British Empire surrogate king, till she is arrested and punished severely under the king's martial law, she liable the entire police force the same amount every day after my legal, illegal, unlawful, treasonous, corrupted police courts justice system acts that I now have our own legal authority. Aaron Pascoe is there. There's Aaron Pascoe. There's his name. And here I go from here. I am the commercial land owner, successor, Wano in Capitals. Where am I? There. Wano in Capitals. To Referef Manukau in Capitals. Claim Native Magistrate Maui Crown Bank Creditor. So there, and there's the exhibit reference of the police, put that there, right? The police are liable for using this fraudulent document to carve money out of me without my consent. Okay, subject's name is 01, not 007, 01. I have the Paramount Chief's Native Sovereign Authority Jurisdiction, a British Emperor, King, no, let's shift this up. King's surrogate King and King's surrogate Crown land patent title as commercial landowners legally seized 77 Cook Street tampered my private default contract with James Pierce Brown. There's him there. That's him. 
and Simon Brent Roundtree, that's him there, underneath there. There are better photos on, but they're all on this one photo. These, these are the people in the office of James Pierce Brown, and the police here, and myself right there, libeling Tim Duffy there, and he laughed at me, and that other police on the bike there, in the back. He trespassed me off the land, and now I'm going to deal to him.